Hey guys, are you here from Blender Bros and in this video we're gonna be designing something cool with hard ups and box cutter. Now before we go any further guys, two things, yeah, first of all this is not for beginners so I don't wanna hear any whining in chat or comments saying are you going too fast, you know. There is a video for beginners that we have, two actually, so go ahead and watch these instead. If you're a complete Blender beginner, grab the Jumpstart hard surface in Blender and if you are a hard ups beginner, go ahead and download the terminal design in Blender. Both links are in the video description. And if you went through both of these courses, there is a new Topology Handbook 2.0 we dropped recently, and it's really cool, so go ahead and grab it, it's free as well. All the links are in the video description. So let's get started. We're gonna start with a plane, which is kind of similar to what I've done in a previous video. If you haven't seen it, go ahead and watch it. It's on amazing tricks with bevels with hard ups and box cutter but by the way if you need any of these add-ons links are in the video description i'll take here this is a, a line pi from a machine tools you need to enable it watch my videos on machine tools if you don't know how to use it i got two massive videos on that eight segments here and maybe you know what, 8 segments is fine. So here we're gonna grab this edge and extrude it one more time. And move it somewhere here. And I'm gonna grab an end gun with box cutter and I'm going to cut this here like that. Alright, press B for bevel, maybe 6 segments and uh, shift click here and make it a little bit larger. And, you know. Let me just adjust it in here just slightly. Is this what I want? Could be. Not really. Let me reset this rotation here. Maybe something like this would be better. Oh, this could do, I think. So we could run a bevel here, like this. And let me see that now, sharpen. In fact, you know what, let's, uh, let's remove bevel from this one. Change of plans. Um, straight cut here, maybe? I don't know. I don't know, maybe something like this. Oh yeah, that's better. Let's just mirror that. Cool. We can always, you know, bevel this vert, you know, control, shift control B, right? And maybe six segments, I think it's gonna be better like that. Cool. And then, uh, this is too long, so GG. And uh, combine these two here, and one more time, GG, there you go. Now here, Alt R to enable edge constraint E extrude it up here. Alt R Shift Y and let's just align that. Cool. And we're going to make it a bit wider here like that. Okay. Awesome. Let's apply scale and uh, we're going to apply this uh, boolean and we're going to solidify that. Cool. And we need some bevel in here. Maybe 10 segments because why not? It's Saturday. Um, I'll text to the other side. Now here I want to create something cool. So when you go to Q menu and you go to mesh tools, you will see that you have this align tool. I have it, uh, the shortcut here assigned to control Q. So right click assign shortcut. So what it allow you to do is, uh, Aligned to a face like this, which is pretty cool. So the way you do it, you use um, you just select the face, Control Q, and then you need to click. And it's gonna be kind of disorienting um, way of looking at things, but you can create some really interesting straight cuts, like for example this. Um, so K for knife, 
uh, let's cut it through and then what I can do is apply this actually so let's multiply and grab these two faces and E can cancel with right mouse Alt S and create this kind of a situation which is cool uh, we're going to select these uh, four edges and maybe eight segments and we don't really need these edges so F Y inset it right click loop tools bridge now if bridge doesn't work you need to enable loop tools let me actually clean that up a little bit here and see if this is gonna be a bit of a better connection so now let's see loop tools and bridge no, it's still fucked I don't know why Blender does it, it's just so retarded. Remove faces, select this edge, select this edge and press 2. That's with machine tools and there you go, this is why we use add-ons. If you don't have this option in machine tools, go ahead and watch my video. Um, and this is I think smart edge option under tools. I got two videos on machine tools, so go ahead and watch it. Cool, so let's save it because reasons. I'm working in 3.3 and that's a... Uh, this blender has a PMS for real, it's like so capricious. Okay, so uh, here I'm gonna run a neat trick. Shift S and with machine tools and cursor to face. This will align the cursor orientation to your face. So now what we can do is shift A and add a cylinder and we can actually align it to cursor. And then we're going to change the orientation here to individual or maybe even local and ry or x and 90 and ry 90 and let's scale this and boom uh, and then we need to extend it up and how many segments is it that's uh, maybe that could be enough it could be it could be slightly more dense to be honest what we could do is uh, remove the face and subdivide this, which is going to give us this view. Uh, grab a face here from the top. Press F and then align it. Right click, loop tools and circle, which is going to fix the, it's going to fix the, uh, not the resolution, but um, uh, the alignment of these edges, I mean verts. Remove that thing and let's just combine this so we can bridge this, right? So loop tools and bridge and we got ourselves a new cylinder. So I'll take to the bottom and we have a more dense cylinder which is going to be a bit better for us here. It's going to be more, you know, sort of subdivided. Let's run the um, two loops here. So maybe one here. Uh, one here, one somewhere here in the bottom and one here and then shift the Y and move it in here let's try not to align it um, on the middle here so somewhere here like that that will do and let's just combine them control J and a modifier I mean boolean sorry union and then we're gonna combine it so sharpen and let's run the bevel here. It's pretty good. And weighted normals. And now we need to fix the damage, right? So we're gonna have quite a few things here to fix. Like for example, this edge here is probably way too close, right? So dissolve. And this one probably could run here. And the rest is fine. This one is also could be combined. Same here. Um, this is kind of. Let me see that. Hmm. This is causing problems, I think. This is too far. And here, same story. This is too close, and this one should be connected. Now we cannot mirror this to the bottom, unfortunately. You need to, you know, fix it manually here. 
So this can be could be actually a bit closer. So EF to align it at the bottom. This one is fine, and here we got a bit of problem. So let's grab this loop and GG EF and combine these two and this one is too close oh, wait i cannot see that this one yeah and alt x let's select all these here and e i mean i sorry to insert it and unfortunately we cannot um bridge them all together which is kind of shame we need to do it separately so bridge and bridge right and then we're going to run some chamfers okay and mare pg that looks pretty cool uh, that looks pretty cool here we could uh, add some stuff as well uh, so what we could do here is run a loop and in fact split it and we could grab this one and um, let's run a loop in here and let's grab this one and extrude it down let's run a bevel here and let's recalculate sharpen and we can actually combine these two with j and we're gonna run um if you turn this uh, dots with these dots here we're gonna run a um, a dot cutter here in the middle but we're gonna switch it to cut so d and cut and let's just run a cutter here g c or y yeah y and cut it through uh, but it's a little bit too long so g z z or y y or x x wait g z sorry i was still in local so that's cool this is a bit too long so g z and move it up here now what we could do is run a loop here in the middle, split it, and you know, RTM macro to create something like this, which is cool. We're gonna apply this and run the chamfer here and turn off the loop slide so we're gonna mitigate this damage here. And you know, I'll text to the other side, cool. And we technically could run a chamfer here, so you know something like this right and we're gonna have to fix these so we're gonna do this with uh, machine tools alt a and we're going to combine it in here this one is fine but we need to sharpen it and we need to unsharpen this one and same here so um alt a down combine it and and sharpen this one. Oh, this one. Boom. And we got this really nice chamfer over there, which is cool. Now, this bevel is a bit too cartoonish. Like when you have really strong bevels like this on a metal surface, it's gonna actually influence not just the scale but also realism because you know it's a metal object, right? It's a plate, so it should be a little bit more defined. Here we're gonna run the S select with mesh machine, so click out click and loop select. And we're gonna run another chamfer here. How we're we looking in this area? Pretty bad, so let's fix this. So we're going to run an edge here, and we're gonna remove these and my PG, right? And same here. Uh, we can run a chamfer and we just have to fix these uh, bollocks here this one actually is okay then alt x to the other side and boom and we got this beautiful chamfer going around which is lovely awesome so now here we can do something something so let's uh let's maybe run a circle here through the bevel let me just run it like this yeah uh, let's just scale this and do we really want to run it through bevel i think i do want to run it through bevel just for fun uh, so here what we need to do is we need to secure this first so let's just run security loops 
and you know just to create some uh, parameter let's run that kind of a thing here to add more geo then we're going to apply this and click alt click here let's actually run a boolean cleaner but before we do that let's run an edge here okay and then we could technically this is a flat surface so we don't have to worry here about it click out click and y boolean cleanup um let's clean it up a little bit like this and then we're going to run offset cut okay offset cut is the experimental version you need to enable it in machine tools if you don't know how to do it watch my videos on machine tools because you know i don't want to do it in every single goddamn video right this is good we could enable smoothing and Control b i want to chamfer here and look at this how clean that looks and it's on a bevel which is pretty bloody, bloody incredible here we're gonna run uh, a loop but we can't yet because we need to clean that so click alt click here why boolean clean up and let's just clean this up here so we can actually run a loop uh, we still cannot run a loop three to clean it one more time we still can run a loop the bottom is a problem i forgot about the bottom uh click out click here and well i could technically run some i should have run some parameter edges in the bottom as well but you know i can't be bothered so uh, no one's gonna be looking at the bottom anyway so just uh, uh not put clean up the uh offset cut same value and we're just gonna run the chamfer here okay and then here we could actually combine that with um boolean cleanup boom right so it's going to be giving us a bit of grief here but like i said i uh, didn't clean it up really we could just run the edge here like this and another one in here just hold your mouse you can draw a cut with a knife like that it's going to isolate the shading and you can barely see anything because it's on the bottom so who cares now what i want to do really is run a loop here in the middle uh, so I still need to clean this one. So why boolean clean up? And let's just combine all these, and then we can run a loop. There we go. And Control B and Q Alt your macro and insert it inside like this. And what we're gonna do now is we're going to grab these. Oh, in fact, let's grab these and share for them like that. Is it in the top? No, it isn't. I want it to be more or less in the middle there we go and move it to the other side that looks pretty dope i'm not gonna lie that looks pretty dope that looks pretty dope we could actually run kind of like a you know sort of a rate situation here so we'll be with somewhere here This needs to be combined. There we go. And this one as well. Is it actually? Yeah, it's fine. I think. Kind of. Um, move it here and combine it. Right, and then Alt X. Awesome. That looks pretty cool. All right. So here in this area, we could create some cuts. Um, maybe like this and go lower here press b for bevel tab b again to adjust it and then e to move it a bit higher it's not so low and then shift click to um live and let's go to edit mode drop a loop here control b and i'll do a macro yeah so i'll do a macro here and it's gonna be a bit of a pig but don't worry about it we'll fix it let's recover this card one more time and we're going to uh, create um a cut here like this in fact what we're gonna do is we'll array this um, um not this one the um the circle so array this up here and then we're gonna apply this right so operation smart apply we're gonna clean mesh so go here and clean mesh this should fix the problem 
just make sure he doesn't remove essential um, topology because he could remove stuff around here but you see it's not essential for the shading although it is a little bit here yeah that could be a bit problematic in this case I would prefer to keep that we might actually fix it manually here so the problem is caused by this so you know this overt and we don't really need all of these right so edge mode and you know select all them and dissolve dissolve edges and leave one and then what we need to do is simply connect these two verts and uh, same here you know uh, dissolve vertices and then I don't know what this edge is doing in here so dissolve them and then we can just combine one vert here with this one and should be good now on the bottom is going to be a probably similar problem yeah, it's gonna be tough to see so here what you could do is turn the occlude go to edge mode and uh, you know try to cleverly select these and dissolve and here just don't select edges that are essential yeah because you know this could cause problems uh, we don't need these ones either good w pg awesome and these two well you know we could have some cuts yeah so um one cut could be here which is not in the middle for some reason oh that's interesting uh let me see that let's remove this edge and remove this edge try again there we go so one here and you know one here right so two and let's mirror them cool and then we're going to um let's actually let's actually apply this in fact uh wait control click on ever scroll select these two cutters and select the bottom and insert it and extrude it and this should cut through right perfect so then let's apply this and select these two ctrl t alt j and same here ctrl ctrl t alt j to quickly you know um create quads and Come on, control B that, whoa, control B that and extrude it. Ha, huh, there is a face in here, I need to fix this. Press 3 to clean that. That didn't work. What is happening here? Here, double edge, I think it's double edge. And combine these two with J now. Perfect. Okay, and uh, let's just, you know, inset this, I mean, in, sorry, extrude it like this right is it too noisy it's a little bit too noisy fair enough let's just grab uh, loops here and select these now and extrude them should be a bit better there you go it's still freaking noisy I don't like it let's keep it strong and let's actually bevel these now they're gonna be tricky to bevel because you have these crazy diagonal edges but let's see if it's gonna actually work maybe it won't so what we need to probably do is run some better connections here okay so let's do this one and uh j all right uh let's run another edge here then cool and you can dissolve um run one edge here and another one here and we can and we can dissolve these two we can also chamfer these and then select this and this and cham chamfer yeah we're gonna have to turn off the loop slide here so turn it off and alt x yeah that's much better so it's stronger 
So we could touch uh, for these, to be honest. You know, that's fine. The bevel is still too too thick, you see. This just this bevel makes no sense. It needs to be kind of thin. So this entire um, model looks, you know, machined. In fact, this is still too thick. There you go. That's better. Okay. So we're gonna put some mud on it. It's gonna look a little bit, you know, a little bit better, like like actual metal, right? See what I mean? That's pretty decent. We could add some notches in here. So for example, here we could have um, a bit of a shift V. And let's change the direction here to longest edge and W for wedge. Hold control to create perfect wedge. That's a bit too far. One more time. Is this mirrored? I think it's, there's a mirror on this. Yeah, it's mirrored. So wedge here and we could also drop a wedge here. Right, that's pretty cool. I would like to have a cut in here as well. In this area here, see, just turn off this wedge and B for bevel. There we go. And we could actually, you know, um, expand this one here like that, just for fun. Cool, this is already mirrored, and uh, we could have also another chamfer here. So, select that. You just have to watch this uh, behavior here. See what I mean? So this is gonna be a bit, you know, a bit nutty. So what we need to do is fix that garbage over there. Let me see this, this can be sharp. But technically this should go straight, you know, here. You know, like that. And maybe to the other side. Right? So we got this chamfer going on this side as well, which is pretty dope. Chamfers in general, guys, are amazing. Yeah, I mean, you, you really want chamfers, you know, like anywhere you, well, not anywhere you can, but uh, but if you can and if it makes sense, you should, right? So like here, for example, chamfer would be nice. I'm not gonna be fixing this, I can't be bothered. Um, here too. And. And then just Alt X. Boom. Okay. Nice. This one could be sliced as well, this this um, tube here. So let, let's try it. Control Q and. We will need some secure security loops here and here and then I could just slash it. So I could do something like this here, you know. And go with a bevel. Maybe not this big one, which is a smaller one. Okay, and click. How are we looking? Oh this is pretty cool, I like it. So yeah, let's let's fix this. This should be a little bit higher. GG. Yeah, this one is good. Cool. So let's apply this and click Control Click, and then we're gonna go to Offset Cut, and I think we're gonna make it a bit smaller. Okay, um, three. There we go. And Control B, and I wanna have a bevel here. How are we looking? Oh yeah, we're looking pretty clean, guys. We're looking pretty clean. We're looking pretty clean. Um, this probably should be run like this. It's gonna be a bit cleaner. There we go. And then, you know, Altex. That looks pretty dope. That looks pretty dope. Could we have some fun here on, on the edges as well? This could be interesting. So we could just, you know, do something like this here. And alt here macro and uh, expand it outside. And 
we could remove this one and chamfer this. Come on, remove this one as well and chamfer this. That's an interesting element here on the side. I like that. It looks like a piece of, I don't know, mech chest armor or something. It looks pretty cool. Like a drone flying with two fists, clenched. Pretty awesome. I like that. Here in, in the middle, we could just add some, you know, like, uh, uh, what do you call this thing? Thread. Um, so, I don't even know if I have it in here. Let me see that. Preferences. Machine tools. Just enable thread and shift D, right? And then P selection. See if it's gonna be any better. Skillet, shift Z. Uh, skeletal individual. So move this to geo. It's going to uh, let's apply the rotation and then move it to geo. Motherfucker, hang on. Oh, it's mare, that's why. Let's disable the mare. Uh, yeah. And disable the bevel. And wait, the normal key. And then shift S into geometry. There we go. And then we're gonna select that and, you know, um, thread. Yeah, I think that money is enough. And then we're going to scale this and Alt N and calculate outside. Nope, Alt N and flip. There we go. And scale it up. And you got yourself the thread, which is pretty cool. It's coming out in here though, which is not ideal. So we could technically create a of a pocket here out the macro there we go and copy to the other side so alt x and boom uh, what i can do here is add um, um, uh, an insert so here we can just use that uh, an insert and shift as to cursor and uh, this cursor isn't aligned now so let's align it okay so one more time shift as two face and then two face and then two cursor and then r and we need to rotate it r y 90 boom <laughs> Uh, please tell me you got confused, because this would be awesome if you got confused. Uh, because this could be confusing. <laughs> I always get annoyed with the, you know, um, this axis in Blender is so fucking confusing. Uh, here, let's scale this up and then Control 1 to introduce more Geo. And we could actually uh, do something like this, right? So, uh, GX and move it outside. Like that. And mirror. And here, what we can do is turn off this goddamn annoying name because no one needs it. So, there you go. Um, you know, this could be a bit more interesting. I, I get it, but we could just add something else here. Like, for example, you know, I don't know this whatever add insert and shift s to cursor whoops um one more time add insert to cursor uh scale it ry90 ry 180 there we go and gx right and there we go and turn the name off I think we have arrived, right? Yeah, it looks pretty decent. That looks pretty decent.
I'm like, cool. Well, that's it, guys. I think it's you know it's, that's enough. Uh, we've done a bit of modeling. It was pretty fun. Uh, it's interesting to work at different angles, and uh, it's a good exercise, you know, to um, to go through. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.